and he began. I looked around, and you aren't there. I'm here now. What? I just wish I'd come to my senses sooner. <laughs> it's okay. That was worth the wait. All right, we need to talk. We need to talk right now. I went to Harvey's. He didn't answer his door. So now I'm here. And you're here. I am. And you're in the same exact clothes you were in last night. Guilty as charged. Oh, my God. I know exactly what you two are doing. Louis, before you jump. You were up all night trying to figure out how you were going to handle the Zane situation. We were, indeed. Up all night? Thinking about the situation. Well, I can't believe it. You should have called me. We could have done it together. Could have, but it's, it's probably best that we didn't. I don't know. They do say the more the merrier. Harvey. You know, I don't care that you left me out. The most important thing is that you guys were banging it out all night. That, that we, we were. were. So what'd you come up with? Probably nothing as helpful as what you've come up with. Well, the only thing I know is that we need to put out a press release as soon as possible. Then you came to the right place because Donna is top notch at releases. Well, thank you, Harvey. You know, you're not so bad yourself. Will you please stop stroking each other's egos. I'm just as good at releasing as either one of you. In fact, I hammered one out this morning. Don't. Louis, this is great. It takes responsibility while still standing behind our partner. So we are agreed. We stand behind Robert. We do. Well, then I'll put this out right away. And Harvey, when you get in, get together with Samantha, make sure the two of you lock up every last one of Robert's clients. Come on, Louis. Samantha, whatever it is, it'll have to wait. We have to start locking up Robert's clients before. That's why I'm here. Three of them have already put their accounts up for review. Son of a bitch. The bar just ruled on Robert yesterday. It gets worse. I reached out to six more, and none of them would take my call. Which means six more are about to go. And the only way that could happen this fast is if somebody's already poisoned the well. You think Hardman's still after us? I did, until I saw these notices were dated two days ago. And two days ago, Hardman was gunning to have me disbarred, not Robert. Exactly. Then who the hell knew to go after his clients? The same man that tried to blackmail Robert into taking his name off our wall. Blackmail? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and I going to pay a visit to Eric Caldor. Harvey Specter and Samantha. Wow. I figured you guys would be uh, too busy cleaning up Robert's mess to come play hockey. Cut the shit, Eric. We know you're going after Robert's clients. It's funny, when I first started whispering that Robert was stepping down, nobody believed me, but now they think I'm a regular Nostradamus. And if you think we're just gonna stand by and let you raid our kitchen, you've been checked into the boards one too many times. I think I cannot believe that she's fighting your fight. It's not his fight, Eric. It's all of ours. Yeah, if you say so. But if it wasn't for old Harvey here, Robert's clients would still be at your firm. And in case you hadn't noticed, so would Robert. And you can try to drive a wedge between us all you want. It's not gonna work. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what's it gonna take for you to back off Robert's clients? Hey, well, you know, if I can't drive a wedge, I can't drive a wedge. But what it's gonna take for me to back off your hero's clients is for old Harvey here to give me 10 of his. Oh, well, look at that, maybe I did drive a wedge. You keep hitching your wagon to the wrong man, Sweepy. You didn't drive a wedge between anything, you piece of shit. Call me Sweepy one more time. You're probably gonna to want to think about my offer before you say no, but don't take too long, all right? And if you lay a hand on me one more time, I'll have you thrown out of the bar faster than your disgraced mentor. Lewis, it's been too long. It has. But I'm sorry to say, Henry, this is not a social call. I'm guessing this has something to do with Robert's disbarment. I just discovered as of today. We do not have one single applicant from any of the top 10 schools, and I was hoping that you can help us change that. By steering some students our way? Because as you know, if Harvard comes, the rest follow. Lewis. I'm not a recruiter. But when you suggest something, Henry? The students listen. Except they don't come to me for things like that. That's fine. I can come to them. You have an ethics conference coming up. Let me be the keynote speaker. Lewis. The university has approval of all speakers. There's no way they're gonna let you be keynote right now. 
Professor, please, I... I have nowhere else to turn. I need your help. All right, Lewis. I'll try. But if I'm going to vouch for you, I want you to tell me what happened. Because Robert undercutting you just to get even. I don't buy it. Well, if you could figure out that Robert wouldn't do this, you could figure out the truth for yourself. Harvey. Lewis. How could this happen on your watch? You know what, Henry? It happened on your watch, too. Shit that you did. And we helped you get out of it. Lewis, I'm not criticizing you. I'm concerned about you. Well, then why don't you concern yourself with what I just asked of you and concern yourself with it before the end of the week? You won't just be signing the best legal team in the city. You'll also be gaining access to our network of high-powered clients. Clients like this one who would love to finance your Singapore expansion. Miss Wheeler, I didn't get to where I am today by turning down a free lunch. But I'm starting to think that you're wasting my time. How so? By not acknowledging your firm's Robert Zane problem. What Robert Zane problem? Look, I like Robert, but I can't sell this move. To my board, Zane is a four-letter word. Robert's disbarment doesn't reflect the culture at our firm. Then why aren't you taking his name now? Because you got to understand the history. The only thing I have to understand is that keeping Zane's name up sends a signal that you stand by what he did. We do stand by him. He was a great lawyer and an even better man. And the bar's decision doesn't change that. And I'll be blunt. His name is only half of it. It's also a matter of his people. What do you mean, his people? One of your partners came from the Robert Zane coaching tree. And you know what they say about trees and apples and all that What are you trying to say? I'm saying that the only way we'd ever consider signing is if you were to let Ms. Wheeler go as well. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm not going anywhere. Then I wish you luck. But there is no way. We're leaving Rand Caldor to sign with you. And if you think anyone else will, you're not the lawyer I've always heard you were. That was one of Robert's clients, wasn't it? What can I say? You win some, you lose some. Well, that's why I'm here, Harvey. You've been losing too many, and we need to put an end to this. What are you talking about? I'm talking about taking Robert's name down. Not gonna happen. Harvey? Damn it, Lewis! I gave Samantha my word, and you said that I know what I said. But since then, the bar has been up our asses, clients have been dropping like flies, and we are not gonna have any associates next year if we do not do this. Now, Alex is with me. That's two votes. Your vote makes it happen. Makes what happen, Lewis? Samantha, I was just explaining to Harvey. You weren't explaining sh You were going behind my back trying to pull Robert's name down, and over my dead body, is that gonna happen? Well, it is not only up to you. You gave me your word that Robert's name stays up. Did you tell him that? Yes, I did. Then what the f is going on here? What's going on is, if we don't do this, this firm has no future. Then let me be clear. If you do this, I'm gone. And you'll be lucky if I don't go to the bar and tell them what really happened. You really think she's gonna go to the bar? I don't know. Well, God damn it, Harvey. His name stays up and his clients go. We might as well just close up shop. Then we'll just have to make sure his clients stay. What the hell does that mean? It means we don't need to take Robert's name down. We just have to keep his clients. Well, we aren't keeping his clients. We haven't been, Lewis, but we can. And I know just where to start. Lewis Litt? Yeah. My name is Faye Richardson. I'm here on behalf of the New York Bar Association. Here to do what? This is a court order granting me full control of your law firm under the Bar's special master provision. No. You can't do this. You're correct. You do have a choice. You can refuse, in which case tomorrow morning the Bar will suspend every partner in this firm from practicing law for six months. You do that, they might as well take us apart brick by brick. Be that as it may, the only way to avoid that outcome is for you to sign that document right now. 